what's up? In this edit, I'm looking into the spot effect in Final Cut Pro. So as you saw in the intro, you can see a before and after. So essentially what the spot effect does is it's like a spotlight. Um, it highlights your object. It's really easy to use and it can create a cool little effect. So I'll quickly show you. So I've just reverted all the original clips back to how they uh, were. So they don't have the spot effect. So I'll start with the first one. You just want to go to the effects panel and type in spot. Drag the spot on top of the clip. So once the spot's loaded, then you get this little um, circle here uh, and you click in the middle and you can drag it around on the screen, um, highlighting the area that you want to be in the spotlight. If you have a lot of highlights and you put the spot on it, then it's just going to overexpose it. Um, so if I put it on top of the girl there, it's just really going to overexpose her and it, will, it won't look that good. So I'm just going to put the spot just behind her. The outer ring here, you can drag and change uh, the radius. So you can play around with these on the right here, the settings, um, to get the desired look. So I'll just play it through and I'll just uh, toggle the spot on and off. So you can see what it does there. kind of darkens the rest of the clip and then it highlights the center here. Um, she does look a bit overexposed, so you can then color edit a bit more. So I'll go to the next one. Drag the spot onto the clip. So what I want to achieve with this clip is I want to just have her really in the spotlight um, and then the rest of the clip a bit darker. Position it over top of her and then adjust the radius a little bit. So I'm just going to edit a little bit more here. Uh, I'm going to add a bit more contrast. So it's going to darken around in the trees here. So you can see there a lot of contrast, full contrast. You can, you'll see that it's just all black and then you'll be able to see her in the spotlight. That doesn't look that good, so I'm just going to drop that back until about there. So the feather, I'm just going to reduce it a little bit like that. And the overall amount of effect, I'm going to have it about there. So I'll play that back now. Next clip, drag the spot on top of the clip. And so I just want her on the uh, iceberg here to be more highlighted and then the rest is a bit darker. So I'm going to increase the radius. So I'm going to bring it down. So the top of the circle here is kind of like where her head is. Um, therefore, only this bit in here will be affected with the highlights and this will stay a bit darker. Um, especially if I increase the amount and if I increase the rate, it contrast a little bit, it will darken this up a little bit around the edge and highlight her a bit more. So there you go, that's that one done. So I'll just toggle the spot on and off. Okay, and then the last one, drag the spot on top of the clip. I'm just gonna position it so that it, the rail is in the spotlight. Okay, and then I'll probably just put a bit more contrast on, darken the outside up a little bit bit more, have the amount a little bit more, add a little bit more feather to it and see how that looks. So that looks pretty good, I'll just toggle the spot on and off. There's a quick insight into the spot effect in Final Cut Pro. If you like the video or find it helpful, like, subscribe or comment. Cheers.